Well. <laughs> spoiler alert. Teasing you? No way! No, I, I, what I love about Peter Capaldi's doctor, Peter Capaldi was also, he played Frobisher in uh, Torchwood, Children of Earth. Uh, he's a wonderful actor. He's another fellow Scott who is in the TARDIS, and we've, we've kind of taken over the TARDIS in the past years, I'll tell you. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was born and raised in Glasgow, Scotland, but now you do anyway. Um, and I mentioned it before. Peter Capaldi. I like the way they've created his doctor to look kind of like a modern. And I say this with all due respect, uh, a John Pertwee, the cape, the coat. I love it. He's a little older, right? And they were a little worried about that, that it wasn't going to be someone, you know, like uh, Matt, who was much younger and uh, <laughs> younger than David and myself and all that kind of stuff. But we always need a change. We always need a twist up. I love the fact they've gone kind of retro on us and put a, a someone, because uh, he's older than me and a little bit older, and I love it. I think Jack would find him kind of like the hot daddy. <laughs> he would know who he is right away. I, you know, this is, this is not written. This is me as the fan, as the Captain Jack and the, the Who fan. I think he would know who he is right away. Right away, he would be like, what is this? <laughs> Captain Jack Harkness. <laughs> Thank You're you welcome. So much. You're welcome. Yes. Hello. Um, so, I, ever since I found out you were coming to Comic Con, I told my mom I, I have to go. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank your mom. <laughs> Good. Um, and I don't know if it's allowed, but I've been planning to. Uh, you are a big inspiration to me in musical theater, and that that's what I want to continue doing for the rest of my life. So I was gonna ask if you would do me the honor of singing with me, but I don't know if that's allowed. Um, I so don't know if what you're gonna sing. Um, anything you can do, I can do better. Take the microphone. <laughs> somebody look, somebody look up on their phone the words quickly, because I don't have a signal and I don't know the words. Do I just climb up? Uh, yeah, climb up. Just don't show anybody anything like Britney Spears does. <laughs> Do you know, I don't, any, someone look up the words quick, can they? Try and? You didn't break the mic, just talk, speak. Hello. Okay. Hi. Oh my goodness. No, shut up, don't sing it. Have you got it? There's no signal. Yeah, right. You got it? Oh my God, what is it with the signal in here? You can also sing something else if you know like something. Like what? Uh, I, I know. I it's more, more like you, you singing what you know. Um, okay, I, I shake it. Here we go. Right, just, just start it. Thank the Lord. You do know I'm 48 years old and I can't see that. How do you make... Sorry, this is a question. I'm not going to say it. You're gonna, how do you make it bigger? Don't laugh, you're not old enough. I am 16. Thank Readers. I love you, but I hate you for this. Oh my God, what would you just clean these laughs? You're the guy who ran into me the other day, didn't you? Because you're like, uh. oh my gosh, you're really, you're, oh, there we go. You, you want the words too? Do you want me to start? You start. Ready? A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You're too low for me. <laughs> Pitch it up a little. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. 
Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can shoot a sparrow with a bow and arrow. I can get a partridge with a single cartridge. I can fart on anything. <laughs> I don't follow rules. <laughs> Just came out and went like this. High five, buddy. Hey, is that enough? Thank you, yay! I've actually got 10. Don't argue with me. I got 10 minutes. I got till the top of the hour. I do an hour. So, and next question. You know what? It's not my problem they haven't done an overflow thing over here, but you know, you, don't worry about getting you guys out of the room. I'm going till the top of the hour. Yes! Um, I'm another musical theater nerd, and I wanted to know, I know you've done a lot of musical theater, but if you had to put Jack Harkness in any musical, what musical would you put him in? When I meet the doctor, when I prove my worth. And when I meet the doctor, what I've waited for since, since birth And with all his doctor wisdom, by my looks he won't be blinded Do you think the doctor is dumb? Or like, ooh, he's so small-minded, no You say to me, I see who you truly are, Jack A man on whom I can rely And that's how we'll begin, the doctor and I Not that I've thought about it or anything. <laughs> because you actually can buy that song on iTunes. I, I recorded it. Okay, I'm going to be greedy here. Wouldn't it be awesome if you all went on iTunes? That would be number one if everybody in this room <laughs> went and downloaded The Doctor and I from iTunes. And if you did, I would love you forever. So it... So with Steven Schwartz, yes. Hi, Jeff. Um, so I was wondering if you would be so kind as to let the audience know what your stripper name is and what Captain Jack's stripper name is. All right. Thank you for that, because you asked me the question earlier. God, I love you. What's your stripper name, by the way? Um, I guess to pay friends, it would be Chris. Chandelier. <laughs> Say it again. Crystal Chandelier from Friends. Crystal Chandelier from Friends. Right, my stripper name, or my porn name, all right, is Pagan Dornford. My first pet and the first street I lived in, right? Okay, Captain Jacks. <laughs> I thought of that while I was waiting in line. Okay, what did you think it would be? Um, uh, maybe just Captain Jack, because that would be... No, nice. no. <laughs> Jack off Bo Shane. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Welcome. Yes, quickly. Quickly! He won't let you go. Oh, are you guys really going to do this to me? Oh. Seriously? They're turning the sound down, okay? Seriously, they're gonna do it to me. No, 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 you've already done it. You told they couldn't go, so you've screwed yourself. Um, All right, so I, I do an hour, I go to the top, they give me an hour to do a panel. These people have paid a lot of freaking money and I'm spending an hour with them. <laughs> don't, don't ever cut the mics. Don't ever do it, because if you do, I will not come back. We will do our own con, and you'll be invited, and we'll use another company. Yes, my dear. I apologize for that, but don't ever do that again to me. These are my fans, and they are important to me. Yes. Musician, and thank you for that. I've just learned a lot from your professionalism. You're welcome. My question Don't is, learn from their professionalism. <laughs> my question is springboarded off Miss Kingston. Yes. What would an episode with River Song and Jack be like? Would you be willing to be her sidekick? 
I Could listen. you have an evil Scottish twin? Who knows? <laughs> Well, they have said that Torchwood, there's a Scottish side to Torchwood. We've never delved into that before. But um, I think Jack would be happy to be River's sidekick. Because as you know, in the episode where Jack went back to uh, Victorian times and when Torchwood was started, and the two women locked him down in the cellars and were putting electrodes on him and hitting him and all the sorts of stuff, he kind of liked it. <laughs> so totally, he would love it. He would love it. Yes? I'm jumping on the musical theater bandwagon. Both my boyfriend that's, that's and I work in theater. Great. And uh, sometimes if I would have like a bad dream in the middle of the night, I would text him and be like, I had a bad dream, distract me. And he would send me YouTube videos of you singing. I don't want to know what you do. This is me. I don't want to know what you do. In your <laughs> and I was hoping you could sing a little bit of Why God Why from Miss Saigon. Oh, I've already Please. sung. Listen, no, I've already sung. Oh, why God, why today? I'm all through here on my way There's nothing left here that I'll miss Why send me now a night like this? Done. Thank you! Last one. Okay, so I have a real quick question about Arrow. Yes. So as we know um, from the comics, Arsenal does not always get along with, uh, with, with Oliver. And so my question would be, on, on the, the show, would there ever be an opportunity, would you like to be able to have the opportunity to have an adventure with uh, Roy? To have a, a Merlin and Arsenal kind of adventure and, and go just to just have a mission or something. I, I can't, I would, I would love to. Yeah. Awesome. But you're, you're gonna, this, this season is gonna be a jaw dropper and next season is gonna be a jaw dropper. Just keep watching, uh, okay? Religiously. Thank you. Just really quickly, sweet. Yes. Sarah Jane. No doubt. Listen, uh, I want to say, I, quickly, quickly, quickly. Do you have a story about your jacket? No! I love my jacket. I wear it naked when I'm doing the vacuuming around the house. And Scott has a doctor coat, and I won't tell you anymore. But we play Doctor Who all the time. Guys, I just want to say thank you very much. You do know how important you are to me. You have changed my life and my family's life, and I love you for it, and thank you, thank you very, very much!